A new documentary on MTV forcing young people to talk about race by asking white people about being white. You say the wrong thing, then suddenly you are a racist. How might your life be different if you weren't white? When you say white, what does that mean to you? We've never had to internalize what white people have done in America, but here you can't escape that. But is this really the right way to tackle the issue? Joining us now to discuss is attorney Eric Guster, partner with Free Think Media, Camille Foster, and Catherine Timth, National Review columnist and Fox News contributor. Nice to see all of you this morning. All right, let's dive into this show, uh, getting some controversy. And MTV says, look, the show aims to challenge whiteness and help address racial bias. Camille, is this the start of a good conversation? I doubt it very seriously. Mm -hmm. um, I think there ought to be a conversation. I think most people have the conversation in the wrong way. If you're going to talk about race, you have to start with what we know to be a fact that race is a crude delineator of people that doesn't actually have a biological basis at all. When we talk about white people in a generalized way, what are we really saying? We're not saying anything at all. Um, there are all sorts of white people as there are all sorts of black people. And to talk about any issue in a racial context generally just confuses things. Discussing whiteness and figuring out what it means to be white. Is MTV striking a chord here? I doubt it. Also, I also think it's a good conversation to have. But Everywhere else I've seen this kind of conversation, particularly college campuses, those kinds of things, it doesn't seem to be productive. It seems to be counterproductive if you look at all the training about microaggressions and don't say this and don't say that. I think it makes people more afraid to have a conversation that needs to be had than facilitating the conversation that needs to be had. Eric, you think MTV's taking a bold stance here and, and doing something smart? I remember when MTV used to play music. <laughs> yeah, when they had the Moon Man and all that. Right. Yeah, I, I think they are, but... We have to stop being so defensive about and super PC about things. And people get very defensive when you talk about race. If I talk about my experiences growing up in Alabama, some people may get very defensive if I say these are my typical experiences that I've had. But the conversation with younger people, it's a little bit different because they're the most racially diverse and inclusive group around. So does that speak to Camille's point about this idea of race being amorphous and what, what does it mean to even be white? What does it mean to be black? We all I mean, have. You, you talked about your individualized experience. I think that's what it boils down to. I have an experience and it's not the black experience. It's the Camille experience. I think the notion that you and I have anything intrinsically in common simply because we appear to be the same I don't know that it's true empirically, and I'm not certain that it's something we there can are, actually tease There are out. many instances where, where it is true, where when you're dealing with um, being stopped by police or harassed by store clerks or being viewed as a dangerous person because of your skin color. I, in some I, I'm not, I, don't know, I don't know how much truth there is to the that. The point about and whether or not you're, if you're white and you're, are you able to comment on race issues in this country, that's what this documentary yeah. attempting to address, that if you're white, you don't get to speak up. You don't have to get to have a say in this. Uh, kind of, especially because so many things are are potentially racist mm -hmm. if you say the wrong thing and you don't even know it. So I think, like I was saying, all making a, watching all these white people cry, I guess, I don't know if that's going to be the entire movie or if that's just part of the movie, <laughs> right. but I don't really know what kind of benefit that's going to have yeah, at the, all. The trailer didn't do it for me either. The, <laughs> no, trailer, no. the trailer seemed like one of those movie trailers that you see and, oh my gosh, everyone's crying, then it's probably boring when you watch it. So, <laughs> Unless you want to watch white people cry. Yeah, there's a bunch of people crying. I remember MTV in the 80s playing Flock of Seagulls videos. Now they're doing this. Maybe, watch the Bachelorette if you want maybe to watch an interesting people. start of a debate. We'll have it here. I'm glad for this debate this morning, though. Thanks yeah. to all of you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Coming up here on the show, his son gunned down by a gang member.